Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to continue working on part 6 of this cabin. Let's get started. So in the last video, we were able to finish the second floor. Um, one thing that I need to change is the level 1. As you know, we have the kitchen right here, but we don't have any ceiling right here. So it's going to be all the way at the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to here. And then I'm just going to pull it inside of this. But uh, still hanging inside the um, cabinet, top cabinet. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move this right here and then move this one on the other side. So let's go to level 1. So I'm just going to quickly fix this and hopefully he will be able to follow as well. So here I'm just going to move this way and then remove the, the void at the same time. We could just mask it like that and with the help of our section we'll be able to put it right about there so that's good because everything is on level for the hood we could just move this one inside like that and that and then if you want you could still delete the void form that will be fine but it's not something that you will be able to see anyway so it's really up to you so as you can see it's not something visible so that will be fine i'm just gonna move this one inside again and then just put this one right on top and then go here and then we're going to pull this down a bit like that. So the, the hood is in the inside of here. We could basically move it from the center so that everything is centered right here. Easter tab in order to cycle anything that you want to uh, click on. Here we could rotate this. 180 and then add it right about here so that's fine and you can add a void form as well here so what you have to do is add it in place same idea let's do it right here we could set it, pick a plane, let's pick this plane, and then click on Void Extrusion. Here we just need to Void Extrude this part, and then click Finish. And then before you click Finish again, go to 3D, and then drop it like that. Click Cut Geometry. And then cut geometry again. And there we have it. If you still can see it, you can extend it more. Cut geometry right here as well.
okay so now let's move on with this What we can do now is we can add in our window right here. Um, something different that I'm going to do is I'm going to add it on our level one. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click our uh, wall. And then let's use storefront. Let's add it right here up to right here so give give some buffer so as you can see it added the mullion and then it spaced out perfectly so that's the thing that i like uh using for storefront um it will be spaced out accordingly so now what we could do is we could see it on our 3d we can remove this let's remove this so that's fine for now and then let's add in our um, roof so i'm gonna add our roof so click on roof this will be on level three okay so press yes and then edit type Duplicate roof number one. Edit this 200. And then material. Let's put in metal. Let's use this. Apply OK. If the pop up um didn't uh, show you could just change it right here the base level should be level three and then now we could use our rectangle here i'm gonna go at the end here and all the way to the end here but press escape multiple times click it again and then uncheck this part here uncheck this part define roof slope so we're going to cancel that roof slope there and here only on this side and then once you click finish you'll be able to see our roof like that i want to fix this um, connection so click on the roof and then just change it to two cut plumb under construction on our properties Click apply and it will be fixed like that. As you can see, we could change the thickness of this. Maybe let's change this to 150 and see how it will fit on our uh, wall. Um, Let's go to our south elevation to see it better. Click it there and then move it. Let's just move it and connect it to our wall. As you can see, you can grab it and you can increase the slope of the um, roof. So let's go to our north elevation. As you can see, the thickness is still there. Um, I'm going to change this to maybe 100 only. And then here, let's move it back again a bit at the top like that. So I think 100 will look like this. It will look framed like this. So it will look much better. Go here and we could extend that later on so that's fine even though that we have extended it earlier there what i want to focus is i'm gonna click on this storefront and then attach the top which is the roof 
it will ask me to delete this line or this mullions, I will say yes, delete the element. And then after that, it will be looking like this. As you can see, it's much better. But one thing that I want to point out is we need to go to our level 2. CS here, click on this wall, CS. And then let's just add something like that here. Also right here. So we're just adding that connection right there. And then now we could change the roof thickness again. I believe 200 is good. Yeah, 200 is much better for this connection. Even though, let's try 150. Because I still want that thickness in the front as well. I want it to be completely framed. So maybe we should extend it all the way at the end. And, and also, only the walls are showing. So let's try that instead. So I'm just going to pull this all the way at the end. Delete element. Delete element. So now it will look like that. Let's go to our north elevation. So click here and then move it. So it will look like that now. So only The end is showing. The end here and also the end here. Although we could maybe fix this again. Go to north. And then just move it again at the top. Here, let's join them. I think 100 is perfect. So I'm just going to stick with 100. It's because of the slope, how the the shape looks. That's why I need we need to change the thickness of this. And then here, um, we're going to edit the footprint. And we're going to extend it all the way right here. So I'll, I'm going to do a line. And then a line here. Click Finish. It will be aligned there. And then let's select all of this wall right here so this is the wall that we have for for the um, second floor and then we're going to attach it to the roof so it will look like that even this one we can do that now And then we still have this connection right here. Um, I'm planning to add in the same idea on this part. So let's go to our level two. And then here we could click on store front. And let's see if we add it the same way. What will it look like? 
let's flip this and then it will look like that I'm planning to delete the one at the top and then here I'm just going to click here attach to the top delete the element and then at least it's centered there and then we could just uh, add some fillings here at the top at the bottom right here and then it will look like that we're going to extend this so I'm just going to select this individually and let's put it on 1500 so we have our chimney so we have this idea right here um, I'm going to go to our level 2 and then add in a storefront as well and then let's add it right here and if we see it it will look like that so we have a view of the outside as well so that looks nice right there that looks perfect and then we have our washroom right here and also another bedroom right there so let's stop here for now and continue on the next video thank you for watching and hope you liked the video please hit like and subscribe feel free to comment down below